and Latin America to promote Chess and Chess24. So, uh, yes, uh, I'm very glad to uh, play against you today. Uh, as you know, I'll be commentating on uh, the moves while I try to crush you all. And hopefully I get a lot of challenges. I see that there are already some people in the chat that please let me know that audio and video is fine so we can uh, uh, kick it off. So one sec. Uh, yes, now looks like I'm ready. So yes, please let me know that everything is fine so we can kick off uh, accepting ch some challenges. So, okay, let's take, for example, for example, uh, Ritter Rost from Germany. Ritter Rost from Germany. So, guten Tag, uh, Ritter Rost. Um, okay, sounds good to me. Everything's fine, so we can start. Nare 3, let's play Nare 3. Uh, I'm having a, a bad time here in Copacabana, like with uh, uh, coconut water, with caipirinha, life is so hard, you know. Okay, D5, D4. Uh, yesterday we went to the Christ, to this big Christ uh, in uh, Top Mountain, it's actually impressive. Today we're we're gonna make a, a tour in a favela that is actually now in peace, so hopefully uh, there's no trouble. So now the idea is just to recapture on C4 with this bishop. Black has several options, uh, for example, can try to play with e6, a6, and followed by c5. I think recently we, we saw a game between uh, Caruana and, and, and Nakamura in this uh, in this uh, sort of position. So, short castle, normally uh, black plays uh, a6 or knight c6, and I like this endgame. After d takes c5, it's actually pretty interesting, so the idea is after uh, queen takes d1, rook takes d1, now the idea is to go knight bd2. This knight is better placed here on d2 than on c3. Because, uh, uh, for example, can go to uh, uh, b3 or c4, where actually uh, black has uh, different weak, uh, weaknesses. For example, the b6 square or the d6 square. And let me just uh, try to remember if I remember correctly uh, this position: knight b3, bishop e7, bishop d2. Um, yeah, let's go for this. Or also b3, knight c4 is also interesting. So after b5. I can go knight d6, winning the bishop pair, but I don't know if it's enough, so let's just go and play knight b3, winning some tempo. Uh, I want to develop with bishop d2, for example. If knight e4, I can always go to bishop b1. This is just slightly better for white, but if you like endgames, um, this is pretty interesting endgame. And I played it in, in, in classic games, so in classical games, so of course you can, you can hope for an, an advantage as well. And yes, we got a lot of action today in Chess24. For example, the Shaha Master has uh, started already in, uh, in, in the Emirates. So you can follow all the action. I'm gonna play Knight FD4. I think I got nothing from the opening, but still. So one of the plans is just to, to put these uh, pawns on F3 and E4 so you can fight against this, uh, this bishop on B7. So let's see what he does. Uh, as I told you, my plan is to go F3 and, B4, and E4, so let's just uh, try to go for this. Also avoiding this knight to, to come to e4. And some people are saying that actually you cannot challenge me. This is uh, strange. Uh, why? Why you cannot challenge me? This should be more than possible. What's the problem? Now, whenever I go e4, there are going to be some troubles in the, in the in this diagonal with a bishop on c5. So I'm just going to go king f1. This is some sort of prophylactic move. Bringing the king to the center, which is always nice in, in some endgames. And also, as I told you, so I want to go e4 then it can be problematic, right, in this uh, position. So I think now it's time to go uh, e4. So after knight takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop c5, I can always go back to b3. And then there is also this interesting a5 square for my knight to jump. And he goes rook fd8, I'm just gonna go uh, bishop e3. I think this is uh, no problem at all. So for example, let's say bishop e3, knight takes d4. I can think on taking with my bishop here. And of course, I want to bring my rook to c1 and maybe jump to, to, to the c6 square later. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, let's go rook a c1. After knight takes d4, I can take with my bishop. And the next move is going to be knight c5. He doesn't do anything. So of course, if, if I manage to win the bishop pair... <sighs> so, um, what's going on? People are saying that you guys cannot challenge me. This should be possible. Wait, let me see. Mm-hmm. <coughs> strange. It's strange. Anyway, I can put here some letter and then you can challenge me. Okay? I can put here some letter and then you can challenge me. This should be possible in the chat, so please 
just everybody clicking on my name just uh, just trying to, to to challenge me yeah you can find my profile as well uh, up 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 there so knight takes d4 and i think it's it's great to take now with the bishop right because uh, we're gonna jump to do the c5 square at some point um for example I can always go back to e3 and then try to go knight c5 or knight a5 as well. Of course, we can always uh, have to take care of this rook takes c1 first. So maybe we can go rook takes c8 and then knight a5 or something like this. Okay, he decides to take on c1. Now, of course, it's better just to take with the rook. Um, look at this position. I think white is on top since this bishop is actually uh, not so well placed here. Rook c8, okay, he's trying to, to exchange everything here in the position. And uh, knight c5 is actually not possible since uh, there's knight d7 and the rook on c1 is unprotected. So let's just uh, try to 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 press. Uh, I don't know. I would like to play rook d1, for example, here. It's not ideal, but let's just try to to keep some pieces in the in in the board, right? After rook c2, I can always go bishop d3. Yeah, this position is not that easy. Maybe bishop d3 in the next move just to avoid uh, uh, this kind of entrances in the, in the seventh rank. And for those people in YouTube, guys, you are more than welcome to our site. Just come here. We don't charge you. This is free to look. So just uh, come and have some fun here. Um, yeah, not so sure what to do. Not so sure what to do. I would love to go uh, Bishop C5 at some point. But uh, it's not easy. Maybe just uh, Bishop E5 here. So... <laughs> Maybe I could try to go bishop d6 in this position. Not so sure anyway, because uh, the less pieces that remain in the board, he's got more chances to make a draw. So let's just play bishop d3. He goes rook d8. I can always go king e2 or something like this. g6. And uh, let's say knight a5 here. So he's got to go to a8. And my plan was just to to, to play a4 here. Just uh, trying to create some weaknesses on the on the queen side for example after b takes a4 bishop takes a6 after rook c2 i can always go back to 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 d3 right or even i can give first a check to uh to on b5 for example right and uh, yeah i think uh we are much better here so rook c5 wow i completely missed this but uh, we are a bit lucky and i can play for example bishop c3 without any trouble right if I not run here, so bishop c3, yeah, I think this is no problem at all, so let's just try to play a bit faster. So rook c5, bishop c3, I need to retreat, to retreat my knight, for example, to c4, then uh, I could jump, for example, to d6 or to b6, aiming to, to capture this pawn on a3. Of course, I overlook a3, but I think I can just play knight b3 here in this position, so no problem at all. So he goes uh, rook d, uh, bishop d8, and then I think this is a huge mistake. I'm not sure, rook takes d8, king takes d8, and bishop takes f6, king c7, I can always uh, play knight c4 there, yes, uh, so let's just go for this, rook takes d8, and now the next move is uh, bishop f6, so let's just try to play this, and uh, the thing is, after king c7, knight c4, it's not that easy for for black to, to attack my bishop on a6, so I'm just gonna play knight c4, uh, and we're also threatening to go knight b6, right? So he should parry this threat. For example, king c7 can be met by bishop e5. So he's, uh, he's, in a re he's in real trouble. And of course, my plan is going to be to just to bring my king to the center. Just, let's say, d3. And then protect my, my knight on c4. And hopefully, if I manage to get this bishop back in the action, white would be much, much better, right? So I think this is also a mistake. We can play bishop d4 here. <coughs> forcing this rook to go to some ugly square let's say g5 or h5 right so uh, let's just play h3 here and uh, maybe one plan could be even to try to trap this uh, this rook right so or for example knight e5 check followed by knight f7 this is actually really really good for us so yeah let's just play knight e5 check so it's got to go to c7 here and uh, we have uh, several options. The option of taking on c6 is actually uh, really appealing to me since now, for example, I can play e5 and the rook is almost trapped there on, on h5. The king d5, we can always go rook c3. Okay, he uh, he uh, managed to um, he managed to uh, regroup the rook 
by a uh, uh, h4 so rook h4 and now we got to play much faster just 30 seconds on the clock i'm playing like a kid i should play faster guys so just for example bishop d3 here bishop c8 was winning a pawn so what am i doing what am i doing i'm just gonna bring my king to the center king e2 followed by king e3 for example uh, or bishop a6 followed by bishop c8 g5 is playing g5 so i need to play faster faster g4 i'm just gonna take on g4 followed by bishop c8 that's uh, this was the initial plan now the e6 pawn is gonna fall after e takes okay it doesn't fall actually so i need to play much faster so let's just play king f2 after it takes uh, i can just take on f3 and uh, well not that simple here this position so for example bishop d4 check followed by bishop e2 if it goes to to over there and now bishop g4 aiming to take this pawn on h6 so give me that pawn give me that pawn give me that pawn give me that pawn check 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 that rook is for free that rook is for free we are winning that's it that's it <sighs> so thanks for the game read the ross was actually extremely hard to win and just gonna open uh, the youtube link so guys just uh, come to to our sas as i'm telling you uh, we are waiting for you just to challenge me and uh, all right so thanks for the game Ritter, and i will keep playing let's say against uh, for example uh, against uh, for example uh, phenomen from austria extremely beautiful country i've been there in vienna in vienna uh, i was there like three uh, years ago or something like this it's actually an extremely interesting country all right, so let's keep playing. Let's say with e4 and getting all uh, white pieces in the two games uh, that I played before. So this is awesome. I get white pieces. I'm in Rio de Janeiro enjoying the Zamba, the people right here, and uh, playing some blitz. Uh, actually, it's a good training for me because I'm gonna play in Argentina in Buenos Aires in two days. Uh, classic tournament in in Buenos Aires. So I'm just gonna play here c3. Of course, the idea is just go d4 here and try to occupy the center straight away. And uh, there are some ideas related with, uh, with d5, but also with taking on e5. And also keeping the tension, uh, let's say by playing h3, rook e1, knight bd2, etc. He takes on d4, which should be not the best uh, uh, possibility, I guess, because uh, normally black uh, loves to, to, keep, to keep the tension in the center. And this gives me the, the extra square c3. Did you meet kangaroos? This was not in Australia, I'm in Rio de Janeiro. Here I met a lot of caipirinhas and coconut waters and beautiful beaches, but not uh, but not kangaroos. There are kangaroos in, in Rio? No, this is in Australia. Okay, B5, uh, strange move actually. So maybe I could take on C5 and then uh, take on E4. This is just a pawn for free. And I, guys, I love pawns for free, trust me. You trust me. D takes e5. Give me that. And now queen takes a4. Defending e4. Attacking c6. So he's got to go bishop d7. After which I can just take on d6. And then try to put some pressure on this pawn here. Um, Karsten is saying. He's speaking fast and playing fast. I hope he doesn't forget to breathe. Actually it happened to me once. And I almost died guys. So c takes d5, uh, d6. C takes d6. And there's no, uh, there's no actually dangerous discover uh, move with the knight, right? So I can just play, for example, knight c3, but maybe knight e5. But I can always go back to d1. The only trouble is he can actually play bishop g4 at that, at that position. So I'm not so sure. So let's just play bishop f4 here. Just putting some pressure on d6. And the thing is, he goes knight e5. I can just go queen a3, right? The, the difference with the, the queen on a3 on d1 is now after queen a3 bishop g4 doesn't make any sense right since uh, there's no pin here on this uh, um, uh, this uh, there's no pin here after bishop b4 right where's your guitar i forgot my guitar in chile man actually it was the guitar from an international play master pablo garcia chilean player queen a3 targeting the d6 pawn i want to take that pawn it's so tasty it's so tasty queen e7 this is uh, these are more pawns for free. Give me that. Boom. Knight takes e5. Queen takes e7. Bishop takes e5. These are two pawns for free. Actually, he cannot take on e4. There's rook e1 later in that line. I don't know if you guys are following me. Just try to follow. D takes e5. Queen c7. King e7. Bishop takes e5. Knight e4. Rook e1. And then after this knight is removed from, from here. Wow. Knight e4. What is this? What is this? So this is just a piece for free, right? Fruit for free. And uh, this is awesome. 
since now after king d7 the king is almost uh, naked right if we were uh, playing strip poker this guy would be extremely naked without his underwear so let's just play rookie one for example just targeting this e4 knight f5 and this means this is more fruit for free right so f3 facundo pawn comes into the action and now this knight on e4 is extremely tasty there is also queen a4 check here in this point in this point pepe Pepe, how did you like school? I'm about to finish it. I wonder how you liked, uh, you liked it. I, 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 I suppose you mean uh, university, right? Well, it was uh, the best period of my life. Um, so as you guys uh, are not 2700 or something like this, uh, just try to, to study at the university something and produce something in life. So, um, and it's actually a pretty fun uh, time. So. You will love it. It's not only studying, you meet a lot of people, you gain a lot of uh, experiences in life, so it's it's good to study something. Alright, so let's play against player number 5, like Mambo number 5. And uh, he's from Poland. Nasdr no, from Singapore. From Singapore. I was there in a conference of my university job two years ago. It was extremely... I was extremely amazed by this country. It's so beautiful. And it's so rich, it's so rich, and it's so expensive, man. Um, so, where did you study? I studied in my city, in Granada. Uh, in 2005, I started university, I finished in 2010. And then I studied a master's, uh, Erasmus Mundus Master's. I don't know, you heard about this. It's just a program, uh, two years in three countries, so it's actually amazing. I met people from everywhere, Nepal, India, Cameroon, Germany, and Spain, whatever. It was a really fun time. And uh, All right, so we're playing against Nonin, G6. I think I played this guy like 20 times, yeah, six times. Okay, let's just play C4, the bull system, um, as my brother used to call it. The bull system, you see the horns here already trying to attack your opponent. Um, D6, let's just play G3. This is the uh, the so-called, I think it's the Botvinic system, right? Brazil, la 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 Bishop G2, Knight G2. This uh, formation is actually pretty pretty strange but uh, it's possible of course it's just go short castle and now play d4 instead of d3 it goes queen c8 because there are some tricks actually uh with e5 maybe if i was already winning i don't know i don't think so but um so d4 the idea is after c5 we just close the center with d5 and just i'm gonna uh, write something in the chat so you guys can uh, challenge me. So he goes short castle. I'm just gonna play a3. This is a very useful move in case you wanna go uh, bishop e3 because now black cannot jump actually to g4. So you cover this important square. And now as I told you, d5 fighting against uh, against this uh, this this monster on, on b7. He goes rook e8. He wants strike in the center here. So I'm just gonna prepare against this. For example, let's say by playing queen d2. Uh, so he goes e6. I can just take on e6 and after rook e6. I could play knight f4 for example aiming to jump to to the to the d5 square he goes knight e5 attacking carlitos uh, c uh, c4 pawn uh, pepe accept me uh, accept my challenge yesterday I became premium for those who become premium today i will take your challenge straight away so just become premium member enjoy our site and then try uh, to crush my ass in this in this beautiful banter blitz so for example let's just uh, play I wanna, I wanna, I would like to play, let's just play a4, so we never give him the extra option of uh, breaking on b5. So, of course, if I manage to go to, to go f4 and e5, he would be completely busted, right? So, my problem is, after f4, knight d7, he can strike on, oh, this is a huge mistake. <laughs> f4, Facundo, solving the problems all the time, my beautiful friend. f4, this knight hasn't got a room. <laughs> So basically, uh, we are just winning a piece. Sorry for you guys for your ears. So just uh, send the invoice of your doctor to to Jan. He is always willing to pay everything. So no problem about this bishop a8. And now look at this uh, pawn march <laughs> on the king side. Uh, G4. Now I want to go e5, and he's uh, maybe e5 was uh, better straight away. 
but let's say now this is extremely good this is extremely good for white ay 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 these people on the youtube chat what are you doing guys what are you doing so we got betran diego bente bent elvis elvis john Aoli. yes guys come to our site don't miss our band blitz and uh... all right so d takes e5 f takes e5 and then he, this night where is this night going i think he it hasn't got a room right so he Actually, this is another piece for free, so this means uh, I'm more than happy with their position. So c takes d5, bishop takes e5 probably, but yeah, this is extremely great for us. So as you guys know, my technique, whenever I material up, is just to exchange everything possible in the board. So bishop f4 forces him to exchange another piece since he cannot remove the bishop because of the rook on b8 is just hanging. <sighs> Sorry guys, I got a flu here, I don't know how. I don't know how. <coughs> Baby, can you play b6 in your next black game? What this kind of shit opening is this b6, man? But maybe I can try. Why not? I can play b6. I could I could try to play the hippopotamus system, which is not so bad, I would say. Um I actually I remember I used to have a lot of troubles when facing this hippopotamus system, right? Because it's nothing that you uh, prepare against. Right, and then you see in the board, and then suddenly you got a lot of space, but you don't know what to do, and then boom, black strikes in the center with some d5 or c5, and your position is uh, even even worse, right? So let's just play g5, uh, given the fact that now if we break this pawn chain, e5 is gonna be extremely weak. Wow, I could just take on f6, right? I could just take on f6. What am I doing? Rook takes f6, you're just winning. <laughs> So, okay, he goes c4, and now knight b4, for example. Uh, yeah, let's play like this. Maybe knight b2 was even better, right? So he can go now f5. Still, he's got some compensation. Nothing special, but after f5, we can just go knight c6. Or knight c6. Oh, knight c6? No, what are you saying, Pepe? Don't say stupid things. Let's just retreat this knight to c2. And he's going to play f5. We can play d6. Just... Uh, Okay, this should be winning anyway, right? So f5, just gonna play d6 here. Hi, Johan. How are you doing? Johan Willem Moebius. This is so hot here, man. It's so damn hot. d6, after bishop takes g2, I can check with my king, right? So I can, I wanna bring my queen to the center, to d5, right? Just uh, penetrating in black's uh, position and also attacking uh, e5 at some point, so. Maybe he's got to play e4, but then this gives me this beautiful diagonal to place to centralize my queen on d4. So this is also extremely great for us. So let's just play bishop takes a8. And now knight d5 or knight a4. Knight a4. Let's say knight a4. Aiming to go to f6. Just winning the game on the spot. So this is another exchange for free. So it's got to go to, uh, to h to f8. And now we can just take here and there's no perpetual, right? Because my queen comes and helps. Uh, pretty fast and uh, d7 <coughs> and Let's just take here this guy on on e5 now want to take on f4 and then this will be checkmate um, How did you get a call in hot chili pepe? I don't know guys. I'm in Rio de Janeiro. I'm in the beach just lay, laying down and uh, But I got a call This is so stupid man I've been in Sweden, in Germany, for the whole winter, and nothing happened. And here I just come to Rio de Janeiro, and then I get a call. This is not fair, right? So I'm just gonna play rookie four, just uh, Facundo taking Facundo. Please play the dragon with white. Yeah, guys, you are, are actually asking pretty tough things, right? Play the dragon with white. It's just not possible. So, rookie four, next move is gonna be rookie four, right? And uh, he's gonna have to resign soon. And in is actually, this is what it's called faith, right? In, in chess. So, rook takes h4. If you play with a queen, a rook, and a, and a knight down, you actually got a, a lot of faith, right? In you. <laughs> Thanks for the game, non in. Uh, let's, uh, just, uh, uh, let's just uh, accept now, uh, for example, some tougher challenge. Let's say Alexis Vargas Arteaga from. from from Colombia, so he's got 2,500 in chess 24, so this is gonna be a tough opponent, I will get uh, white pieces again, what is this, I'm getting white pieces all the time, 
So I don't know why, but okay, let's play knight f3 again, knight f6, c4, and uh, he's gonna play what? g6, b6, okay, let's just play d4 here, and uh, maybe the queen's indian, so for example, just play knight c3, e6, and we're in the queen's indian, just we're gonna play g3 here, maybe it's not, it's one of the main moves, but uh, bishop takes f3, was, uh, this gives uh, black this uh, extra option, and now I don't know what to do, let's just play d5 here, and of course my plan is just to go... Uh, C takes d5 here. I'm not so sure about this. I'm just uh, gonna play bishop g2, short castle f4, and then see what happens. One of the plans should be avoid blacks uh, 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 advancing all his uh, majority on the queen side. And then we got the bishop pair, but we also got uh, double pawns, right? So this is not so uh, good. But let's just develop pieces. Bishop e3, and now as I told you, I don't wanna play a4 uh, uh, if he doesn't play a6, right? Because this gives him the extra option of going knight a6. So he wants to go b5. Let's just try to stop this by playing queen d3. Not with a4, because this gives him the option of going knight a6. Now I could think of going a4, because this knight cannot actually uh, reach this, uh, this, uh, this spot on b4. And h5. He wanna jump to g4, so let's just stop this uh, by playing a3. I wanna play a4, maybe. Yeah, now it's not that possible, because he's gonna go knight a6. What about if he just jump to b5? What about if we just jump to b5? Let's do it! 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 Knight b5. And now, what about if I just uh, play knight a3? Doing this uh, snake maneuvers, bringing my knight to c4, where I actually I target the d6 pawn. And uh, knight b5, my knight a3 was played to stop knight a6. So he goes rook c8 here in this position. Of course, if I manage to play a f f5, maybe f5 before it was, uh, was much better. So let's just play, for example, rook c1 here. I want to stop uh, this knight a6, knight b4 maneuver. So this is uh, the this is gonna be my whole plan. And then I'm just gonna play rook c2. This gives gives me gives me the extra option of uh, going double rooks on the on the e file. Just guys, just try to pay attention because I'll be uh, giving some. Uh, Giving some premium accounts today. Uh, so Queen B7. Maybe now it's time for F5. Maybe now it's time to F5. Facundo. Facundo. We wanna uh, kill one of the Facundo twins right in our position. So we are a bad father. F5. Wow, this should be amazing for us. Takes, takes, and Bishop E4 or Bishop E4 straight away. This looks extremely great for us. Bishop E4. Now G takes F5. Boom. Bishop takes F5. Da, 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 da. So we need to exchange the rook on C8. So he is completely busted. Give it that to me. Boom. Da, 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 da. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Pepe is your damn daddy! Queen c8 and uh, knight b6 just winning the game straight away. Give me that, baby. Queen h3 and give me another one, right? Knight f6, uh, still we should uh, be careful, so let's just play king, uh, queen f1. Um, queen f5 and for example, rook e2. Uh, somebody is asking. I visited Madrid or Barcelona in 2014. Pepe, what city do you like more, Madrid or Barcelona? Well, I'm gonna reply that now, but let me just uh, finish uh, this game, this guy. Let me finish this guy. Let me finish this guy. Just uh, bring the knight to uh, back to the action, let's say to c4, for example, where I also target the, the d6 pawn, I defend the d5 pawn. So let's just play, for example, queen h3. And, and uh, yeah, knight c4 is the next move. And hopefully white is much, it's much, much better, right? Um, well, I think Madrid and Barcelona basically are uh, both extremely nice. So, for example, if you like uh, going party, etc., the beach, Barcelona is better. It's full of tourism and uh, it's full of tourists. And uh, what can I say? I don't know, Madrid is, I also love it, I also love Madrid, so basically I love both cities, but if I have to pick one, I would take uh, Barcelona, because I always like to, to be close to, to, to the beach, and um, Barcelona has a nice beach there, so Madrid is actually pretty far from the beach, so it's uh, five hours by car, so all these Madrid people, whenever they, they are in summer, they get crazy, and they just, uh, just want to find uh, some beach. Uh, skin of one, I'm just playing too fast and maybe I dropped some pieces, but I had so many... Wow, I have to be careful actually. King of two, and uh, okay, I have two rooks up, so this should be enough. <laughs> so let's just take on g2, and now rook e3 for example, knight f4 just king f3, and then we're gonna take this d6 pawn, and uh, yes, rook takes e6, 
and knight c5. We are winning, so no problem at all. Knight a6. Uh, b4, b5. This is gonna be a queen very soon. Uh, I also don't like these knights jumping around. So let's just play b5. Uh, rook c5. Go away. Go away. Go away. B6. B7. And this is gonna be a queen. 20 seconds is uh, more than enough, right? To win the game on the spot. So thanks for the game, Lexi uh, Bar. Next time you a tournament and find a tactic, I will scream to my op to my opponent. Who's your daddy? Right at the <laughs> Don't do this, guys. You can be kicked out from the tournament. So, for example, let's uh, play against uh, another Austrian player. Um, uh, who's this? Ship it. So d4. Let's just try to play the Benko. So I recorded the series uh, on just 24 about the Benko. So the London system is actually pretty interesting. I'm just gonna play uh, like Mickey Adams did against uh, uh, Karjakin in one beautiful game they played in. Uh, I don't know which tournament, but actually uh, the British man uh, managed to to win that game. His plan is uh, quite simple. It's just to fight for the e5 square. This is the most imp important square. He goes knight e5 here. There should be something wrong about this. Normally, uh, white goes bishop g3 first. So maybe the problem is that now you can play queen c7 and the bishop of f4 is not that protected, right? So maybe after knight c6, I could also think on taking on f4, right? I don't know wh what's going on here. Maybe knight h5 is actually interesting. Uh, yes, let's just play knight h5. For some reason, white normally goes bishop g3 first after bishop d6. Yeah, DBC is in Brazil, too. We are both here uh, in Brazil, uh, enjoying life and uh, working. So, knight c6, and what about uh, what about if I just take here on, on f4? I don't know what's going on here. This uh, could be quite dangerous, but after knight e5, I just want to retreat my knight to g6, and I got the, the bishop pair, and after e takes f4, I can just take with my pawn on c6. And then take on d4, strike in the center with c5, open the position with uh, for my two bishops, and uh, <coughs> I'm gonna die, guys. B takes c6, um, yeah, knight e5, and as I told you, I think it's now pretty interesting to take on d4. And now if he decides to take with Carlitos, then there is the op extra action of going uh, bishop b4, for example, or queen a4. This is gonna bring his king. To, to dance uh, some salsa, right? So maybe queen a4, queen a5 as well. Let's just play queen a5. The trick is after king e2 is the only move because after queen d2 there is boom with bishop b4. After king e2, I could actually just go short castle. He can never take on c6, right? Because there is queen a6 with a double attack, with a check and attack on the knight on c6. And he would be just uh, losing the game on the spot. There is also, yeah, I'm just gonna go share castle here. And uh, one of my ideas is just to strike in the center with c5, open, opening even more the position for, for my bishops, right? One of the uh, general advices when you are playing with uh, with uh, the bishop pair is just to try to open the position, right? Because knights are, 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 are better in closed positions and, and uh, uh, bishops are better in, in closed positions. So let's just play bishop b4 here. I don't want to uh, lose any more champion opening my position, so now c5 is gonna come, right, in the next move. Uh, knight c6 not possible because of queen a6, just winning the game on the spot, so it's got to go to e3, for example. Let's say e3, and uh, c5 uh, looks like a really natural move to, move to me. Opening that position, knight c6, queen a6, a3 is not a problem because he can never check on b4 because the rook on a1 is hanging, right? Ay, 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 ay! Ay, ay, amor, ay, no me llores. La, 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 los corazones. C5! What is this king doing on F3? Dancing some samba, dancing some reggaeton. You're gonna lose this game, my friend. I'm gonna go after you. So C takes D4. Now, queen takes d4, I could go, for example, bishop c5, right? Or even f6. But let's just play bishop uh, c5 here. And uh, I don't know, he's managing to escape. Pepe, what was the most significant chess game that won you won in your career? Well, let me think about this. Maybe the first time I beat a 2600. Yeah, this was against Boichasek in the Portuguese league, like in, 20, in 2009. Or something like this. So maybe that one. I don't know because that that time 
because at that that point I thought that okay these guys uh, play much better than me but you can fight against them and they make mistakes like everyone right so yes maybe that game it was very important to me so queen b6 now there's a threat actually going uh, bishop d4 for example targeting the b2 pawn he realizes and then plays queen d2 and yeah I don't know what to do maybe just f6 yeah let's just play f6 and kick this knight from e5 Pepe, who is your favorite world chess champion chess champion I'm currently studying Capablanca well I know it's easy to say but my favorite player is, is Magnus not because of his style but I also pre I'm like a Magnus Carlsen I got the Magnus Carlsen style but with 1000 less rating points what I mean is I'm not a tactical player I like to, to go step by step and he's uh, the monster of this and uh, Yes, uh, not only his play, but his attitude, right? Because I see some players that they uh, they just play uh, 20 moves and then they're happy with the draw. Magnus is never happy with the draw. And this is what I like about him. This is what I love about him. He keeps pushing his opponents. He keeps uh, attacking, attacking with a screw driving in their asses, right? Just to, to explode uh, uh, the position. And I really appreciate that. Uh, I think all fans, we appreciate this, right? Um, okay, King G2, he should be busted here, but I don't know how to finish this guy Because Bishop G4, he wants to go Bishop E2, so it's not that simple Just gonna uh, play uh, Bishop E6, just trying to develop my pieces a little bit Bishop F5 was much better, I guess Okay, but now I just wanna uh, double rooks on the F file And uh, yes, just put some pressure on Facundo here on F2 And this should be, this, this should be good for us Alright, so Bishop E2 and uh, this keep gives me well, man. This is so hard for Spanish, English. Oh, so Bishop F2, and now we are threatening to go Bishop E3, followed by E4, just giving the F2 square for uh, one of our, our heavy pieces, Knight E5. Yeah, and this should be more than okay for us, Bishop E3. Um. Well, yes, you are right, Galactic. The 12th game against Karyakin uh, was actually. Uh, a disappointment but we have to say that this is a really natural decision right because if you are better than a player you prefer to uh, to play uh, four games than just one and this is what he did right I prefer to play four games because I'm better than him than just one game so from the uh, sportive point of view I think this is completely okay right I would have done the same if I'm playing uh, let's say against a 2300 player I'm 20 more or less 2500 right Let's say I'm playing against a 2300 uh, player and for some reasons uh, things have uh, uh, haven't gone so well so uh, I would say okay uh, let's just make a draw and then play for games of course it's not beautiful for the spectators but uh, for 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 him it's, it was the best decision I would say so e4 um, Pepe if you were a professional soccer player what position would you play well I used to be uh, Defender, right? I played football until I was, to, let's say, 18 or something in a team. And yeah, I love to cut some heads. So, <laughs> D6. This is not so good opening for Black. I think Black has got to take on D5 straight away because now there is this extra option that normally Black is not aware of. The thing is, you don't go D4 after Knight D7, right? Which is uh, what uh, Black normally tries to do, Knight B7 and Knight B6. But instead, you play D3. And this is extremely important because after knight b6 you go queen b3. The idea is to defend the d5 pawn and to recapture with this pawn on on the on c4, right? Let's just keep playing with bishop g5. Um, knight e5. Ah, I overlooked this, but okay. I think we can just take here. Well, I need to be a little bit careful here in this position. So let's say, for example, bishop h4 here looks good to me. So I got the extra option of going bishop g3 in case I needed a rookie one, putting some pressure on e7, bishop g4, and wow, this is a huge boom. This is a huge boom, guys. Boom, boom, boom. One premium, uh, one month premium account for the one who finds the right move here in this position. One month premium. Who is there? Who wants a premium account? Who wants to watch Peter Spitter videos? Who wants to watch Jan Gustafsson videos? Who wants to see my ugly face the whole day in Chess24 looking for some videos? What's the move here in this position? What's the move? What's the move? Who wins again on the spot? Guys, let me know in the chat, 
in chess 24 chat nobody's answering guys come on you saw the move you saw the move i trust you i know you're a good player don't uh, don't make me lose on time otherwise uh, i'll yes yes blitz enemy blitz enemy wins uh, d uh, i'm gonna write your name down right i'm gonna write your name down uh, or divis if you can add blitz enemy one month uh, premium account blitz enemy okay so blitz enemy you got one uh, one month for free so thanks for those uh, for participating bishop f6 people in youtube i cannot read your comments i mean i can't there are a lot of people participating on youtube but it's better if you come to chess 24 chat as i told you so many times queen g4 this is just pizza for free, right? I love pizza for free. I love food for free. So thanks for the game, Regina. Cool. Italiana. Parliamo in italiano qui un po'. Va benissimo. Okay. And... Uh, sorry, guys. For example... Zevi. Zevi from Poland. Um, Zevi from Poland. Knight f3. I'm just playing knight f3 all the time. Why am I getting white pieces all the time? I got all the time white pieces. Right? Why I got all the time white pieces? I don't see why. Let me just uh, let me just uh, see why. Uh, one second. I don't know why I'm getting. I don't know. I just played with black, right? I played with black, right? Did I play with black in the game? I don't remember guys. Did I play any game with black? Just let me know. Knight c3. Guys, just please answer me. Did I play any game with black today? Because I don't remember, right? I played banker or something? I can't remember a game with, that I played with black. Okay, knight takes d4, and this could transpose to Maroxi uh, sort of positions. If it goes g6, then I would go e4, and we're in the Maroxi system, so which is, uh, I would say, one of the, the best uh, openings against uh, the Accelerated Dragon, right? So this is like playing uh, the Accelerated Dragon. Okay, Dossi Ablijon is saying I played with black, so nothing is, is wrong in my profile. All right. <laughs> So bishop b2, black, black, black's got two options, he could take straight away on d4, or he can just try to play uh, with short castle, bishop d7, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, and uh, bishop c6, then later going knight d7. So I'm gonna play some move, which is uh, uh, pretty interesting, after bishop d7, knight c2. This normally will take out of the book to your opponent, which it, this is not so common move, and it's very interesting. <laughs> One of the ideas of this knight c2 is just to avoid exchanging some pieces. Why is this? Because when we are, when we have uh, an advantage of, of space, it's actually pretty important to uh, not to exchange so many pieces. And following this rule, um, you can actually put a lot of pressure to black's opponent. Um, so player is saying. <coughs> Hi, <coughs> bishop d7 and knight c2. As I told you, this was my plan. This knight later can be regrouped, uh, going to a3, where not only stops uh, y, uh, black's b5 break, but also defend Carlitos, right? Dc4 pawn. I'm just gonna play, I'm just gonna go to take some tissues. Hi, campanella. La 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 uh, for example, chess for zebras, the seven, uh, sin, seven sins in chess, actually pretty interesting by Jonathan Rosen. 
and there are a few books which are uh, extremely great of course and uh, some books which uh, tell you different chess stories not only chess positions right so yes um, Queen d2 after knight e5 my idea is to go knight a3 right because if I go b3 then b5 is actually quite good but after knight e5 the idea is just to go knight a3 as I told you and then b4 can come just trying to win some space in the center maybe knight d5 later can come or c5 right she goes bishop e6 I'm just gonna go uh, knight a3 or knight d5 could be interesting here in this position but let's just play knight a3 actually this moves it's actually uh, threatening to go knight d5 right which is uh, pretty 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 dangerous for him so for example let's just play king h1 uh, removing this this game from this uh, dangerous diagonal and um, knight e5 has been played I would love to go a3 okay now c4 is stuck so I should do something about this just gonna go b3 maybe knight d5 is better and um, um, Pepe when did you get the GM title well um, just two years ago let's say I was a bit stuck between 2470 and 2490 um, and then uh, I went to Germany to work as a researcher as a PhD in uh, Hamburg and then I met uh, Lawrence Strand is one of my best friends and then he came to Hamburg and then he recommended me to the company and uh, I started working for Chess24 and that's how I started to to study some uh, something a little bit again because of course to record all of the series we do in Chess24 you it's actually a hard job and then this is how I again uh, uh, played a lot of tournaments and in 2015 I managed to get the title so it takes f5 of course and now I want to jump to d5 and then e7 is uh, attacked so he's got to do something about this and also f4 is coming g4 is coming uh, this knight on a3 has a nice job it's a bit far from the action but actually it's uh, is uh, doing a nice job in the uh, stopping b5 right but maybe it's time to bring him to d4 right this is what i was thinking about let's just try to bring this knight to d4 where it actually stops uh, uh black bishops from going to e6 and then g4 actually could be a threat it goes knight c5 and then just gonna uh, put this knight on d4 maybe i overlooked knight d3 and maybe knight d3 is a bit dangerous but i can always go rook c3 right and then nothing nothing is happening bishop d7 he's going uh, he's playing very passively so maybe I uh, maybe I'm just gonna go Bishop uh, or even Knight b6 right Knight b6 winning the the Bishop pair cannot be actually bad so Knight b6 and um, Pepe do you think you can get very good in chess without reading any books simply by playing well uh, you need to do basically everything right in chess you need to play uh, a lot of games you need to play a lot of tournaments. this is uh, for me this is the most important thing just play a lot of tournaments you read thousands of books you play online but you never play in a tournament in a classic tournament basically it's just impossible right so um, bishop d4 we look at these two guys here these two bishop these two bishops are amazing now f4 is coming bishop g4 as well this is extremely annoying for black right this uh, this pawn on f4 is gonna push this knight back to f7 and now bishop g4 also with this annoying pin actually maybe bishop g4 is actually even good maybe it was even better just to retreat this knight to d4 but then i just saw this move here that's that wins some material bishop d7 with a double attack to the two rooks and if he removes this knight to f5 i can just take one of the rooks and then I would be more than happy. Knight c6. And then let's just uh, collect this guy here. And uh, maybe bishop e6 was even better. Followed by queen c3, right? Yes, that was even better. But no problem. Just queen d5. Um, Pepe, have you ever taken a girl to a chess club on a first date? Well, guys, I have to tell you. Maybe that's not the best idea you, you can have, right? Some girls just run away from chess players. But you all know this, right? We are all freaks and nerds, so... But you know, when you get older and older, maybe it's something interesting for girls, right? <laughs> so, okay, uh, Rook CD1, we should ask Jan, he's the expert. He's the expert, he's the Latin lover. Alright, so let's push Facundo, or let's just go back to E2, just to defend the A2 pawn, and then uh, just Queen D2, aiming uh, to go for the dark squares. Let's say Queen C3 check, now I wanna go Rook D5, kicking this knight, kicking this queen back. Queen e3, for example, now I'm threatening to go queen d6. Okay, he stops this, and now I'm just gonna play f5. And uh, 
Pepe, what was your PhD research in? Well, I was working in ultrasonic non-destructive testing of materials. I know it doesn't sound so interesting, right? But <laughs> it is. So F6, King F7, damn it, give me that, give me that, give me that. And I know, and you guys know, I love exchanging everything when I material up. So this is just a very simple chest, just uh, trying to to explode uh, that we are material up. So King F3, and now King C4, this rook is going to land on D7. There's no E5 check. Now with the double attack on H7 and on B7, he's got to resign Zoom. So, yes. Thanks for the game, Sebi. Zebi, 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 Zebi. Shaggy, 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 Shaggy. And uh, for example, let's take this kid, Peter, Peter Keller. He looks like very John and dangerous, 2500. So, ooh. All right, so I can't buy pieces. This is so amazing today. I don't know, guys, what's going on. Uh, looks like the system is in love with me today. Um. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. Uh, yes, guys, uh, YouTube, I barely see your chat because I cannot pay attention to all the chats here. So, But I know you are there and I also try to pay attention to you, but just try to, to come to our site. And you can also enjoy playing for free, doing some tactic trainer. If you want to become premium, just become premium. Of course, this would help us more. But okay, let's just play this bull system again. 92, short castle and... Uh, <coughs> D6, D3, there are different plans for black here. Normally black goes 98, that's right. Uh, to go knight C7 and then maybe knight C6. Uh, knight E6 and knight D4. Let's just try to play A3. And then he's gonna go A5 probably. Otherwise I'll just go B4. Of course, B4 is not winning the game or something. But let's just try to push Facundo. I don't know what's going on here. These positions are so balanced, right? So bishop G4, just play A3, go back. And now knight takes E2. We got the bishop pair, which is always nice. So I'm just gonna play bishop e3. <coughs> ay, 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 ay. Knight c3. Maybe I would love to continue my attack by playing e5. Of course, this gives him the the f5 square. So I'm not so sure actually. I'm just gonna play king h2 here in this position. He's got a nice control on the center uh, with two pieces. Uh, this knight in d4 is extremely great. Now he wants to strike in the center with b5. I shouldn't allow this, so I'm just gonna play a4, stopping b5. Maybe my next move is gonna be b3 to reinforce everything. But I think black's got a nice position. Maybe he can try to continue with f5. And uh, yes, uh, of course, this would give me the extra option of opening the diagonal, but I think it's not a good idea. It's better to keep the tension on the center. Maybe just play b3, queen d2. Of course, this b3 pawn can be a quickness as well, so maybe just queen d2 straight away. Uh, or knight b5 could be actually interesting, but then knight takes b5, a takes b5, knight d4 again. I don't know what to do in this position. It's never easy. Chess, damn chess, killing me, right? Chess is the hardest sport in the world. As I told you, I played football when I was a kid. I played tennis uh, for a lot, a lot of years, but nothing is harder than chess because it's just you are the only guilty if you lose. You cannot blame the arbiter. You cannot blame anybody. You cannot complain to, uh, I don't know, you are the only guilty if you lose the game. And this is extremely hard from the psychological point of uh, view. Pepe, I'm going to facundo you. <laughs> 93. Wow! Wow. I just blundered. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't blunder anything. I thought I had a knight on F3. I thought an knight... <laughs> I thought that I had a knight on e3, okay, this is, this is not that bad, right? <laughs> Let's just take an e3, and now I think I can play f5 here in this position. But then knight d4, let's just play f5 here. I thought I had a knight on e3, and then he just took an end, and then my knight on c3 was hanging, right? I thought I just uh, blunder a piece, but this is not the case. We are still in the game, and Facundo is here to kick your ass. Facundo, f6 is an idea, followed by queen f4, queen h6, and checkmate, boom, ba boom, and... Of course, this gives him some dark squares in the center. Let's say d4, e5, so it's never easy, right? Knight d4, I could think on taking and playing f6. This was my uh, first idea, right? Of course, this bishop on uh, g2 looks like uh, completely shit. Uh, this looks like completely rubbish. So, chess is a sport or a game? Why? Of course, it's a sport, guys. It's a sport. So... 
for those uh, who chess is not a sport, just think, for example, or shooting, right? If shooting is a sport, why chess is not a sport, right? So shooting, you just do like this, boop, boop. And physical condition is also important in chess. For example, uh, try to play uh, a double round tournament for seven days. Maybe you're gonna die. You lose a lot of kilos. It's extremely important, the physical condition as well. But, uh, but it's not only about this. All right, so queen d8. Now I got a nice position. Just gonna bring, uh, I don't know what should I bring. Let's just play h4 here. Um, um, h4 and uh, yes, maybe I would love to open the h5 as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should change the team. Somebody's saying that Golden State Warriors are not good enough this year. That's maybe right. I'm just gonna play bishop h6. Look at this maneuver. So rook e8, bishop g7, and uh, defending uh, Facundo. And uh, we got a Facundo in his stomach, right? And now my idea is just to go queen e3 and queen h8. Of course, he can always go king h7, but this starts looking suspicious for him. If I manage to break with g4, he, com he will be completely busted. Or even bishop f3 and bishop takes h5, ba boom, looks uh, like a really natural way of exploiting black weaknesses on the king side. And um, what do you take makes you such a uh, active all the time? <laughs> Guys, no drugs, right? It's just uh, my natural energy. He resigned. Okay, that's nice. He's uh, bear is worse, but uh, he was not lost or something. Hi. <coughs> all right. For example, Pokemoker from Germany. Um, so let's just uh, d4 and I'm just gonna play d6 here. If he goes e4, I will play the Philidor defense, one of my favorites. C4, I will. I wanted to show you this idea of going a5 straight away. This end game is uh, pretty similar to the Philidor end game, where actually Black is supposed not to have any troubles here. So after queen d8, just king d8. And you can reinforce the center by playing f6 and later c6. The king is uh, well placed in c7, so this is not a problem. So after bishop g5, f6, he goes b3. I'm just gonna play uh, f6, as I told you. Maybe he goes uh, b5, sorry, bishop b2. I can just install my, my king to g c7, just uh, in these sort of positions, uh, uh, white has conceded uh, some dark squares, right? Pepe, are you going to watch Uruguay versus Brazil today? Soccer at 7 p.m. Well, this uh, this evening I I wanted to to do a tour in uh, in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, to tomorrow we are leaving to Buenos Aires, and uh, so this is our last day in Rio. So I would love to 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 see something more about the city. Uh, so King C7. Let's just play Knight D7, A5, Knight C5, installing some good pieces and some good squares. And later, uh, if the Bishop goes to B2, this Knight could also go to A6 in some sort of stamish, uh, samish style, right? Whenever the Bishop is removed from the C1, H6 diagonal, we just uh, this Knight on F7 is well placed. He goes Bishop D2, which I'm gonna continue with Knight B D7, and. Uh, Yes, e3, and my idea was just to go maybe first a5, right? So this knight can never be kicked back from the... Uh, what's the time? It's 4.15. 4.15. Um, so 12.15, we've been doing Bantam Blitz for one hour, so still we got some more time. I'm just gonna play knight c5 here. After knight takes, bishop takes c5. And... Uh, and... Uh, Pepe, do you think uh, IQ and ELO correlate? Well, I've met so many stupid people with a lot of uh, high ELO, or uh, the contrary, some extremely smart people with that cannot play chess, just simply. So I don't think it's correlated or at all or something. So you know one guy in your city which is saying, I'm the fuck, I'm oh, sorry, I'm the damn boss because I got. 1900 of elo points i'm the best in the village i'm smarter than anyone just don't believe him you know all right so let's play bishop a3 i'm a bit scared about this plan with a3 and b4 so i'm just gonna try to be prophylactic uh, just by playing bishop a3 my plan is to continue with bishop f5 or bishop b6 bring a rook to the d file 
and uh, I don't know Anton what what do you <laughs> Anton is obsessed with my armpits I don't know but you can suggest me uh, something all right so let's just play Bishop f5 followed by maybe Bishop c2 could be actually extremely annoying or Bishop b2 is a threat so Yeah, natural talent for chess and hard work correlate for with L. I agree with uh, check two thousand, check zero zero seven. As I told you, I met so many smart people which are uh, uh, extremely talented scientists or something which have been trying to play chess for twenty years and they cannot uh, increase more elo than to, uh, from sixteen hundred, right? So, but who knows, you know. Who knows? Bishop B2. Boop! Da, 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 da. Give me that rook, baby. For me. For free. That's it. That's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, so here in YouTube we got Elvis, we got uh, David Capu, De Encuentro, Newton, uh, Scott, Scott Dorch, Mark Patricio. Just. Uh, come to our site I appreciate all the comments in the chat as well people it's uh, very important for a bunch blitzer to interact with everybody because it's, if otherwise it just uh, look like we are crazy people talking in front of a camera I remember the first days in chess 24 like three years ago right uh, we had to stand uh, talking in front of a camera for hours and nobody was there it was the beginning of the website and nobody was there right so you feel like so stupid so i'm just gonna take this uh, rook here because i prefer to keep my uh, dark squares bishop so i'm just gonna play rook 88 and pepe what city are you from in spain well i am from granada granada in the south of spain andalusia uh one beautiful region I recommend you to uh, to visit it it's extremely people are very friendly over there it's like uh, very warm people and it's extremely fun you will have a lot of fun if you go there so I can't say don't come to my place because it's actually extremely nice so rook d7 let's just try to play simple chess for example bishop b4 uh, lesser extermination exchanging some pieces now a2 is extremely weak as well so uh, he blunders and uh, drops his pawn on a2. Pepe, would you give another premium membership? Let's see, let's see. If I find another interesting position, why not? So rook d8. Uh, yeah, Pepe is from city near Grab where you can fry an egg on stone during the summer. That's true. <laughs> That's really true. It's 40 degrees. 40 degrees in summer, 45 degrees even. You cannot go to the street without uh, with a shirt, right? You have to, I don't know, it's so hard in summer. I don't recommend you to come to my place in August because you can die. Uh, you, If you are from the northern countries in Europe, you will die for sure. For example, I've seen so many German people like prawns, like so red, like dying, like dying. So be careful with my city on the... On summer so rook takes b3 this is gonna be a beautiful lady in three moves rook c3 b3 b2 rook c1 and b1 so boom boom rook c3 b3 b3 b2 b1 that's it that's it mm. um. ay, ay, ay. rook c3 thanks for the game poke moke poke moke um, for example, let's take uh, let's take uh, Player Mo from Singapore. Player number five. This was the guy who was in the toilet. Don't shit while you are trying to play Bantablitz. Just try to do it before. E4. Another white piece is the Singapore guy is saying that he wants to play. I remember we used to go in Singapore to Alfredo's restaurant. It was a really small Italian restaurant in uh, some market which was uh, very very nice just was the only more or less uh, affordable place in the whole Singapore <laughs> so knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 and he's got several options here bishop b4 e5 this uh, line is tricky I don't remember anything knight d5 knight d4 I think can be met by queen g4 but this line uh, 
it's uh, well known as well he takes on c3 and now I'm just gonna put my bishop on d3 in order to create some uh, possibilities some attacking possibilities in <laughs> Granada soccer team is not, it's not doing well this year it's gonna it's 19 out of 20 I know our team is not uh, performing well this year but you know this has been the same in the last <laughs> three four years so I'm not so worried about this it means that uh, normally they manage to to fight in the last uh, matches and normally uh, it's always uh, they they normally uh, fight hard in the last uh, in the last moments on on the league so still I trust I trust them I believe in them sorry so bishop h6 I don't want this guy to go short castle and I want to go rook a1 defending my e e5 form maybe bishop g7 even followed by bishop f6 at some point but of course uh, knight c6 has been played and now I'm just gonna play rook a e1 this is uh, very uh, also risky for me because my structure is very bad if he manages to defend pretty well and then my structure could suffer but I think all my pieces are so well placed right <laughs> looks like you caught a, you caught a call yes I did I don't know how um, <laughs> we are we have 40 degrees or something maybe uh, maybe too much ice in the drinks Ooh. sorry guys this was chess results <laughs> and uh, yeah for uh, Pepe when are you gonna try to uh, uh, Sebastian Benitez when are you gonna try to when are you publishing this uh, article about chess and engines well I've been trying this article for days I still uh, because I want to present it in a way that uh, everybody can understand it um, my idea is to talk about a little bit of, about uh, how uh, engines work, how do uh, they choose the evaluation function for evaluating positions, uh, to talk about a little bit about alpha, beta pruning algorithm, but uh, this has to be done in a way that everybody can understand and follow, so that's why uh, I'm trying to reduce the complexity of the article, but uh, I promise that before this week, this week ends, it would be published, so I am trying to do it tomorrow, because the day after tomorrow I am starting playing in a tournament, so let's see if I can make it so let's just play Queen f4 here defending h6 uh, making his life hard so in order he cannot the castle uh, easier so now my plan maybe is just to go h4 and h, uh, h5 <laughs> sorry guys h4 and h5 and yes life is not so easy for him also even c4 taking on f8 I'm playing uh, c4 should be interesting just removing uh, my uh, uh, double pawn so queen takes h6 and now he's got to to be careful because queen g7 is actually kind of a threat here um, <coughs> I think chess results is not a dirty place guys sorry so it's just chess results it's just a, it was the list of the tournament that I'm playing so queen g7 looks like interesting to me because of the queen f8, queen f6. Actually, he cannot go short castle. He cannot move the queen back to e7 because the rook on h8 is hanging. So let's just try to make this his life uh, difficult. Sorry, guys, I moved the board a little bit. Now we are back already. Gen R18 is a new premium member. No, because we played already. Gen R18. We played already I can see our score 1-0 for me so Queen F8 now maybe wanna uh, strike in the center by taking on C6 and playing B C4 opening their position since his king since in the center he plays uh, Rook G8 uh, in order to go Queen G6 in this moment but as I told you let's, let's just try to open the position by taking on C6 and playing C4 this is it this is it this is it opening the position I wanna take on D5 I'm gonna I, I wanna play C4 again Carlitos Facundo uh, sorry Carlitos Facundos Queen E7 He's going back over there. I'm just gonna go back to f4. I want to exchange queens because his king is in the center. He's got better structure, so any kind of endgame would be extremely bad for me. But instead, I want to take on d5. I want to play c4. I want to get some open fights for my rooks and enjoy this uh, beautiful position that we got. C takes d5, as I told you. And now the next move is gonna be c4. Yes, yes, we are managing to do this. Uh, um. Our game was one year ago. Okay, Jen. So maybe we can play today. Um, <laughs> Doctor Amir is saying, "Where will we? Where will we publish, Sebastian? 
Well, of course, in our chess site, in Chess24, it's not a proper scientific article, right? It's not a proper scientific paper or something. So it's not going to be pl uh, published in the Applied Journal of Mathematics. But just in Chess24, uh, in order to show people how engines work, just a divulgative uh, article, right? So Bishop B7, and just I keep thinking that this is uh, the best option just to open everything. After Bishop takes D5, I was thinking I'm going uh, Bishop E4. The thing is, got Rook B4, which I don't like. So I'm just gonna uh, take this guy on A6. This is just a pawn for free, and uh, maybe I can bring my rooks to uh, to the open files. Let's say, uh, wow, this is a ba boom, boom. Damn it! Queen A4 check. And this is what happens when the position is open and your king is unsafe. That sometimes there's nice tactical shots which uh, make you win the game on the spot. So queen c4, just I'm pinning my queen and my bishop, sorry. And of course, uh, once this bishop uh, com comes back into the action, then he will be completely busted. So, alright. So, let's play queen f4, also looking for the f6 square. And uh, yeah, let's play queen f6 and let's say bishop c6 in order to install this bishop in a nice diagonal. Let's say bishop e4, maybe I can try to go queen g5 followed by queen h5 as well. And uh, yeah, rook c8, let's just play this uh, tricky move, queen g5 in order to go queen h5. Let's see, he, he blunders this, he does. So let's just take this guy here and uh, now queen g5 again back. <laughs> <laughs> So let's say queen uh, f6 and now I just want to uh, bring my heavy pieces to the h file that we managed to, to, to open. So this is going to be extremely fun for us. I think it's only move is queen d8 and of course this end game with uh, queen uh, with a piece down and a pawn down is hopeless uh, for him. So let's just play uh, rook a3 here and uh, rook h8 is uh, just checkmate. Uh, No, but rather I'm trying to uh, to play all the time against uh, different people, against uh, new people in the, in Chess 24. So this way everybody can play. So Queen F7 with a checkmate. Thanks for the game, um, player number five. And my next game is gonna be against, uh, for example, for example, for example, let's say. Let's say, mm -hmm. I see some non premium members which I cannot accept. And for example, football club Bayern Munich, which uh, I haven't played against him. Um, Alright, so black pieces we got. Um, let's try to play a different opening than before so we can try to learn different types of structures. I'm just gonna play now the French opening, the French defense. And d4, d5, several options for white here, knight c3, and now knight f6 uh, leads to uh, the classic French. But bishop b4 is the v variation, which is the very, very interesting. So c5, a3 is the theory, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, and knight a7. Now white has several options, he can go on queen g4, uh, after which I'm gonna go short castle here. Queen c7 is the other main move, which uh, sacrifices two, two pawns here. And then uh, in returns, black gets a lot of counter play. But short castle is uh, uh, natural. Now I think bishop d3 was the main move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play f6 and try to strike in the centers <laughs> straight away. Ay ay amor, ay ay no llores. C4, Carlitos, kicking this bishop back to e2 to f1. Then knight f6, of course. Now I think black's got a nice position after e takes f6, rook takes f6, there is always this e5 advances with the pawn because of this bishop on c8 is looking with x rays to this queen. So after bishop g5 I can just play rook f7, this is pretty standard and as I told you now e5 is actually kind of a threat, right? So knight e5 has been played. And now I'm just gonna take this guy here and maybe queen a5 targeting already the weaknesses, black weaknesses on c3. It's not that easy to defend that weakness. Maybe he's got to go back to d2, right? And uh, there are also interesting maneuvers uh, with uh, bringing a piece to, to a4. 
this is a very very common in the French because C2 is actually extremely weak in these positions and looks like what black is uh, black's got a nice position here Pepe if you want to impress a girl what do you say first I say boom baboom and then he, she just runs away and that's it so queen a3 so I hope I answered your question uh, queen a3 and I'm just gonna play knight g6 here I'm not so sure because uh, or d4 no d4 is just completely rubbish I'm just gonna play knight g6 and I was thinking mm, bishop a5 is a bit annoying actually but uh, anyway this cannot be bad for black so after bishop h5 bishop d7 and then I bring my other rook to to the f file for example this cannot be bad for white we've got a better structure uh, his attack is nothing um, yes the only thing that worries me is that this is a pretty um, drawish position oh this bishop a4 is actually completely rubbish um, so maybe rook f5 first maybe he's got to go f4 here yeah I don't like what I'm doing actually so let's play queen a4 attacking c2 so he's got to defend that I don't know how maybe rook f2 yeah that's a pretty simple chess I don't know I'm doing something wrong for sure I'm doing something wrong I'm just gonna play queen b5 in order to go uh, um, oh yeah yeah I'm just gonna play a queen b5 the idea is of course to enter in 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 b2 Pivot, try to sacrifice a piece for a space of pawns. Will be fun. Well, the thing is, my style is is uh, is like Jan Gustafsson style, but with 100 points less or 150 points less. Um, I'm a very very boring player, I would say. I'm not uh, a sacrificing player, not a tactic player, but instead I enjoy. I enjoy playing the calm positions. I enjoy playing uh, end games, for example. So it's just a matter of styles, right? So, oh, this bishop e7 is extremely nice maneuver by him because he wants to defend the a3 pawn. And I think now my position is extremely, uh, is extremely unpleasant, right? Because he wants to go g4 as well. This I don't like at all. I don't like my position at all. I, I did something wrong for sure. So let's see if he blunders something. Let's just try to, to create some tricks by playing uh, queen b6. So now I want to play queen, rook takes f4, right? It's not that simple to 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 parry this this thread, right? Because I mean he cannot go king h1 because the rook on f2 is is just hanging, and uh, yeah, rook a f1 doesn't work as well. So maybe queen g4, maybe queen g4 works actually, and it's uh, pretty. It's pretty unpleasant, but maybe it's time now to open the position with d4. This queen g4 allows me to open this diagonal for my bishop, okay? So now I got good prospects for this guy if he lands in c6, right? So c takes d4, queen takes d4, the rook on a1 is stuck, right? And then I could play bishop c6, then a bishop can land on, on, on d5, I can bring my other rook to the action as well. So looks looks pretty 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 nice for me. So rook d1 is played, and I'm gonna play d3, creating a pass pawn. The thing is, he cannot check um, on d3 because there is queen b1 check. Ah, maybe he can. He can, of course. Well, what a what a what a move, d3. Stupid move. But still, a lot of compensation. Bishop c6 is coming. He can. Well, uh, queen b1, queen d1. Ay, ay, amor, ay, ay. G5 is actually extremely interesting. It was extremely interesting. Oh, Pepe, you are, you are so stupid, man. G5, rook d7, boom, 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 boom. Bishop c6, rook d3, rook e3. I don't know what to do. 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 Queen g6, wow. But queen g6, there is queen b1, right? So he cannot do this. He goes h4. What about if I just play bishop d5 here? Let's just play bishop d5 here. So queen g6, queen b1. He's going to go uh, king h2. But okay, we keep playing. Uh, rook g3 is coming. Wow, 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 wow. 
We are in real trouble now, maybe. So I'm just gonna play rook f7 here. I need to increase my rhythm for this game. I'm suffering like a beast. Rook f7, attacking this guy here. Maybe I should uh, think on exchanging queens. Maybe this uh, would be the solution to my problem. And I'm not so sure about the end game. But I think black can hold this position. Queen f5. Maybe he wants to retreat his queen. But no, he takes on c6, of course. Uh, now I need to uh, defend this end game. Let's just uh, try to create some counter play by play. Rook c8. Now b6. I want to go a5 here in this position. A5 is coming. A5 is coming. A5 is coming. A5 is coming. Ra -da 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 -da. What's going on here? Maybe a5. Rook takes c3. He goes f5. Uh, striking in the center. Well, what to do here? Maybe e takes f5. It's not that bad. But then e6 is coming. I don't know what to do. Let's play a5 here. He's got to go to d6. And now I actually don't know what to do. Root takes and then what's going on? I should be losing this position. Rook takes f5, it's a possibility or not? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Rook takes c3. Ah, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to play. 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 La 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 de nuestra tierra. What, what happens? Rook c6, c7, bishop f7? What's going on there? Let's just play rook c6. Rook c6, rook c6. If bishop e5, I can take on e6. And then I'm saving the position. e7, bishop f7. Looks like uh, black is holding. And maybe why black is even winning after e7, bishop f7. Because he cannot defend the d6 bishop. So he's got to play bishop e6. So bishop e f7. This is a baboon. This is a baboon. This is a baboon. He can play actually. Uh, this is a baboon. Da, 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 da. Pepe is your daddy. No, Pepe is not your daddy because this is not winning. This is not winning. Maybe I'm even losing. I got to play bishop e8. Just defending. Uh, I, could, I couldn't take on e6. Now I need to play fast. Maybe king f7 is winning now. Maybe king f7 is a threat. Actually, he cannot do anything against this king f7. King f7 is just winning on the spot. I think because he hasn't got the room for the rook. Maybe he can play h5 here. h5 is the only move that saves the position for him. Because after bishop f7, he can play bishop g6. Or maybe not. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Let me know. Because uh, I have no clue h5. 5 looks like saves the game, but he resigns because he didn't see H5! That's it! <sighs> Thanks for the game. Chess is a game for smart people. It's a science. It's an art. So, don't let stupid people like me um, screw things. Alright, so let's play against uh, Jen... Let's just play against uh, Gen R8 and we're finishing. So after this game, I suggest you to challenge me. Uh, I suggest you to start challenge me, challenging me to one minute games. So we're going to play two one minute games or three one minute games as usual before uh, I leave. As I told you, I'm going to leave to visit the city now. Uh, all right, let's play the Kings India. This is my first, uh, my favorite opening. Um, okay, d6. And h3. Or, oh, king f8. Well, man. King f8. This mouse slip. I. What, what did I do? Let's just try to play a, an artificial castle in. Of course, this is not ideal, but what can I do? Let's just try to uh, get things right. So, play king. Uh, he goes to. Uh, I just play knight c6 here, so I want to go bishop f5, and uh, yeah, king h7, rook f8, and or maybe rook e8, uh, in order to strike in the center uh, with e5, but anyway, the position is not that bad at the end of the day, and one uh, needs to, to try to, to make things right after one, oh, I wanted to play rook e8 as well, what am I doing? I'm getting drunk or what with my with my tissues or what I don't get what am I doing d5 and uh, yeah looks like the position is not ideal so <coughs> let's play e5 here fighting against this bishop if d takes e6 then his center wouldn't be that great and then I can just take with my bishop develop with knight c6 so e5 looks good and of course, I would love to install an eight on c5, but if, I think we are just not on time. So maybe, uh, yeah, let's just play a5 here. 
and then maybe knight a6 stopping b4 and which i like now is this bishop is uh, well parried so no problem i'm just gonna play for example knight h5 here in order to attack the position c5 is actually quite annoying here so maybe i should have stopped with knight bd7 but anyway we should try to to get a little bit crazy in this game uh, g4 wow let's just go back to f6 he could regret that he could regret that actually uh, let's just try to play h5 and open the position so g5 i can just go to h7 putting a lot of pressure on this guy here and now bishop g4 just uh, this knight is pinned bishop e2 and uh, maybe f5 here wow f5 looks good i'm gonna play knight d7 first so in order to stop c5 and my idea is just to go f6 or uh, f6 looks good f6 looks actually really really nice so let's just try to strike here on the king side in order to open some lines since his skin is uh, pretty pretty bad place so i think this is just winning even so he takes uh, f6 and now queen f6 where is this knight going because he gonna go to g5 and then this pawn on h4 is gonna fall down so yeah i how many tempi black lost maybe i lost like two uh, two like uh, 20 tempi or something like this how many Red Bulls you drink every day? Well, no no Red Bull. I actually hate that drink. I think it's just so unhealthy. It's just pure energy, guys. Pure energy. Queen of six. Give me. Give me that knight on F3. It's for me. It's free because I'm entering on F2. And uh, Black should be winning already. This is a huge baboon. maneuver with my king to f8 to g8 to h7 to a to g8 back and guys let's play one minute games in order to finish this banter blitz sessions banter blitz sessions for example against uh, uh la roca from spain la roca from spain let's just play one minute games let's get a little bit crazy so i'm just gonna play d6 remove i don't care what you play i don't care if you play a4 h4 i don't play if you play e4 just try to go after me so d6 and now a knight f6 for example against the king's india i don't know if i so stupid i cannot even move i'm losing so much tempi so i'm just gonna play c6 here and queen b6 for example this is a secondary line queen c2 i'm just gonna play queen a6 uh, attacking the c4 pawn so give me that give me that to me boom 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 just gonna go back and then b5 just trying to develop my pieces let's say by knight bd7 ay 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 knight bd7 let's play bishop b7 defending this guy on c6 now after knight f6 i can just stay back on f6 and then i'm just gonna play rook c8 in order to strike in the center with c5 here we go here we go here we go boom give me that give me that give me that bishop b4 now c4 just pass one go to a1 go to the corner go to the corner to cry b takes c4 b takes c4 now knight d5 uh, blocking this isolated pawn bishop takes c2 and now knight uh, c3 followed by d5 look at this position it's so nice this pawn on a2 is also hanging but i cannot take because of rook a1 so now i want to go just e6 just protecting all my pawn chains you know that i love exchanging pieces so i'm just gonna do this let's say queen c6 uh, threatening to go d4 so it's got to parry that rook b8 entering in an open file just rook b5 in order to double rooks on the b file in order to exchange everything possible on the blow rook b2 here we go here we go oh whoa, 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 whoa. i'm a bit square about this uh, h5 now king e7 just protecting the dash squares so he should exchange there over there so let's just play for example queen d8 i don't know what am i doing let's just play rook b2 f6 and bring the king to f7 for example check 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 wow wow i'm just losing i'm just losing let's just play d4 in order to go over there just uh, try to escape here just uh, i'm trying to escape wow, wow wow he's too fast he's too fast he's too fast let's just play d3 let's just play d3 Wow, 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 C2, 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 C1, 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 Ah, ah. <coughs> uh, we won the game. So one more game to one minute and uh, we leave. Let's uh, accept three county, for example. Three county. Okay. Let's just play a bit more serious this time. So where are you, three county? c4 let's play e5 now 
96. And now my idea is just to go c6 in order to put a nice sentry on d5. Now normally black, uh, white goes with d4 in this position. And now queen takes d4, knight c6, attacking the queen. He's got to go to a4, to d1. I'm just gonna try to uh, advance my pawn to d4. He's got to go to e4, for example. And now I can just develop my pieces with bishop e7, followed by short castle. I'm just gonna go do this, but I'm going to c5, a pre pretty more active square. So knight, queen takes d8, knight takes d8, and he's got a ruined pawn structure here. So I need to make use of this and then just play rook e8. Just putting some pressure on the e3, on the e3, boom, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Knight takes c3, now this bishop is just passed it on g2, there is a nice discovery check on c2. Okay, he tries to avoid this, and then I'm just gonna play bishop d, uh, knight g2, and then followed by bishop d7, because there is a bishop b5 check, which it could be pretty interesting. Or maybe knight e3 check, I'm just gonna take on g2, followed by bishop c6 here, uh, there is a nice uh, pin. Here with this knight on f3, just knight e6 is coming, just rook e88, bringing the rook to, to the action to the center, just rook d1. Let's just get some fresh air to my king by playing h6, this should be more than okay. Rook d8 maybe, rook d8, just uh, last extermination, exchanging all possible pieces on with the board. And maybe f6 just to stop this knight coming to e5, knight d4, just bishop d7 controlling perfectly this knight, knight d2, king f7. The king has to be a pretty up active uh, piece in the, the end games, knight c5, just bishop c8. And uh, we win on time. Just one more game, guys, and uh, we're leaving. I cannot upset. Uh, I cannot upset uh, uh, non-premium challenges. Last game, and I'm going to the beach. Night f3. Night f3. What are you doing, Galactic? Are you Galactic? Are you Zidane? Are you Ronaldinho? Are you Galactic, really? Or are you just uh, Mitchell Salgado? Who are you, Galactic? Who are you? You are Mitchell Salgado? You are Cristiano Ronaldo. Show me. Show me your tits. Your teeth. No. <laughs> My pronunciation, guys. Alright, so... Looks like he's not there, so let's just abort the game. And one more game, and we just finish the show. I just want more or less everybody to play some game. So... Are you there? Aldisto? E C4, okay, let's just play B6 as somebody suggested. Let's just try to play the hippopotamus system. G6, Bishop G7, just uh, pretty fast, let's just try to play pretty fast the hippopotamus system. Uh, short castle, maybe shouldn't have gone short castle because now this is extremely dangerous. Maybe I want to go just uh, Knight G4, wow, 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 I'm having a lot of troubles here, guys. What did I do? I'm just gonna play h6. I cannot just uh, even take the knight, so this is just a, a piece down. So I'm uh, pretty, pretty, pretty busted in this position. Knight a5, give me that pawn, baby. Give me that pawn. I'm just a piece down. Knight a5, I got a beautiful knight at least. So let's just play c5 here. It goes a3, just, uh, just to try to get crazy over there. So knight a3, just take on b3, and now play b4. Aiming to go a5 and a4. This sort of uh, maneuver. So d4, he's striking the center. Let's just play queen e7. He's gonna take and play queen d7. Let's just try to hold the position by playing e5, playing f6, Facundo, 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 I just blunder, I just blunder, he can play rook d7, I'm busted, but he's not seeing it, he's not seeing it, I just played rook a6, he doesn't want to beat me, he doesn't want to beat me, he wants actually, he wants actually, but I'm, uh, let's see if I managed to create some sort of counter play, I'm threatening checkmate in two moves, I'm threatening checkmate in two moves, so he takes b3, and now I'm just gonna play rook a8, aiming to keep some check at least, he uh, hasn't got nice squares for the knight, so just rook d a6, a lot of counter play here, he doesn't know what to do, rook d6, now aiming to enter in the center here, wow, 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 rook b1, where are you going, where are you going, rook a7, just I don't have any time, he's gonna beat me, he's gonna beat me, this guy, he's gonna beat me, that's very bad. That's very bad. I don't like this. He beat me quite well. He beat me quite well. So, I don't know. I don't have a square, right? Okay. So, this has been all. I hope you guys uh, had, have to, had fun today. I also hope that you learned some chess, which is precisely the whole idea of all these shows, that you can try to learn some chess, yeah, you can try to see how Grandmaster thinks or International Master thinks. Anyway, uh, hope you're uh, having a great time with all your family and friends. Uh, this has been all from Rio de Janeiro. I just say goodbye and take care, be hugs and be good. Bye bye guys. <laughs>